going on, peoples? I am Mrs. Pleasant. I'm Mrs. Pleasant. And welcome to A Pleasant Love. Hey, oh, hey, 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 hey. Thank I'm... y'all so much for checking out another one of our recap. We're checking out episode six, Defending Your Wife. A clink, clink. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> ha. A lot of defending that wife on the wrong level. Before we begin, we got a little update for you. As you may or may not know, we live in the great city of Houston, Texas. Mm. Uh-huh. Mm. Part of the whole Texas Arctic state. Arctic Blast. We had the Arctic Blast, yes. A burr. Sub-Zero was up in here. Uh, <laughs> That's Sub-Zero. <laughs> it was bad, though. It was like, freeze. They were like, no, man, we good. And we, we finally <laughs> got a full day with lights, yes. electricity, and... Water. Y'all almost didn't get this. Almost didn't. Cause they, they, and look, it might it shut off. Bottom might, of our part. It <laughs> might shut off while we're doing yep. it. So we don't even know. We're <laughs> we'll just see. hoping and wishing and praying on wishing on the star that it stays on. It stays you know on. So we got one more night of freeze and we'll see how things go. Two nights of freeze, actually. Oh, yeah. Saturday night, too. Yeah, is supposed to be cold, yeah. too. So we'll see how things go. Just pray for us. We made it. I know other people weren't as fortunate. If you're watching this, you know, and you you still, please just hang on, hang tight. You know, make sure you do the best you can. Store up some water. Do not bring anything with carbon dioxide into the Carbon house. monoxide. Monoxide. Carbon monoxide. I get them monoxide. mixed up. I get them mixed up all the time. I love it. Carbon my, monoxide. How you monoxide. say it? How you say it? Monoxide? monoxide. Well, whatever. Don't do it. Because uh, it's, it's dangerous. Please don't. Yeah. I know y'all guys trying to stay warm. Just put on extra layers. Uh, this is just crazy. This is insane and we're supposed to be nasa nasa right up the road it's just oh so frustrating but we are here we are alive we have electricity you know if you all all need anything please write in the comments yes um if you need assistance um we can get some resources out to you all um via sitting a, a company or a group of people that are helping people out at this time um it's just it's this is a horrible situation but we're still here, so we're going to keep making content. The Lord say, still push on, still keep going, no matter what chaos is going on. And since yes. we got electricity, we're going to go ahead and shoot this for you guys. Most and definitely. I hope you all enjoy it. We have been trying to stay busy. Um, I'm proud of, proud of uh, me, actually. Um, for us, for both of us. Yeah, we worked out together. We never work out together because we have very different schedules. Sure. And so it was fun working take out with my, of that. with my husband. You take advantage of that his, uh, together his, time. His muscles is... Uh, you see me? Strong. See that neck? You I see that neck? No, it's, you see the neck. I'm not. It's not protruding. It's existing. So you see how you see how the you can define the neck now. People are like, I see your neck. I'm like, yeah, I, yeah, I got a neck. That looks nice. I got a neck. I saw that. Maybe people talk about my baby. Show the neck. Show, show the neck off. You on your show the neck off? I have, so yeah, a, I have a necklace. Check out. On, so check out some of her Snapchat. Check out some of her Snapchat because she be showing that neck. She be like. And then she'd be popping the lips. Whatever. We're drinking her hot tea. <laughs> I was like, go here with your sexy neck. Sexy neck? <laughs> what happened tonight? Uh, what, a, what occurred, baby? It, it, it's so much on this on this on this this show right now that I am so confused. I, I found myself defending Chris. I found myself uh going against a lot of people. It's just too much That's in so one much. episode. Um where should we start? I don't even know where to start this time. Uh, you know, like speaking of our, our made for TV antagonist named Chris uh, Williams the second, baby. Make sure you don't forget the second. Baby. Look, my my my, my man. Lesson from a married man moment. <laughs> zoom uh, in, zoom in, mm, zoom in. Come on, uh, help him, help him, help him. These people are strangers, dog. They don't know you. They don't. I mean, you are on a live. Not live, I'm sorry. You're on a reality TV show. So people are in your life. You signed up for it. So they get to know all about you. If you want to keep your life private, you don't sign a for a reality TV show, show that has cameras here, here, and here, and here. I'm just, just saying. saying. I just never get that. Every season we get one. They're like, oh my God, I need my privacy. Don't you get on a reality up for a show, show. bro. Like, don't do it. But I understand his privacy. I get it. And people are defending him saying the girl should have mind their business. And a part of me believed that they had good intents by saying, hey, we're just looking out for our friend. But what made it escalate is that. And I noticed, what's her name? Um, Virginia or Clara? Clara. They, they both Clara, were Clara started to back off once she noticed he started getting escalated. Yeah, good customer service. And, yes. And Virginia, <laughs> she just kept igniting the fire. Igniting the fire. And then Eric 
gonna boast herself over there and gonna like she, she I think she wanted Eric to come over to ignite the situation. And it's like girl, you you barking up the wrong bark. Like let, let that tree go. Let that tree go. You stated your opinion. You just stated what you felt to defend your girl and look out for your girl. And I appreciate that. More women need to do that for one another. But um, after you stated your point, you should have said, okay, cool. You're doing the best you can to make sure she feels loved. I just want to make sure that she's being loved because she's a sweet person. Boom, bam, boom, and exit that door right. Just exit. Eric should have never came over there. He should have, it should have never got to that point where he had to come over there and say, what's going on? You know what I mean? And then when he, oh Lord, then Chris got on the, the uh, van. Oh, he got in the truck. In, in the, the van. The van. It was a van bus, but I don't know what it was. He got in the van. And he, he said, oh, oh, thought we oh, you, thought, a- oh you thought you going to just gang up on me and we not going to bust through? Oh, you go, oh, okay. Baby, baby. <laughs> he got on that van and he was like, ignite. Boom. <laughs> and you saw her pain set. She didn't sit next to him. She sat the last. She said, I'll be in the back of us today because I don't need this. And yeah. then she had to defend him because he kept going. Oh, I do see where Chris kind of has a place. It's like one of those things where you don't talk to me. Well, from what we see on the show, they have not said anything to Chris. He won't let them, though. That's no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just saying. What you mean, who? It's sim- simple of, hey, how, how, like, I never see them have small talk with Chris. The only time they talk to him is to this. To this. Now I said we can't see everything. They maybe had some talk on the air, an airplane to Vegas or after the wedding, but I've never seen them talk. So the first time we see them interact with Chris is always when it comes to the stuff about his baby mama. So where I I can see where he says you guys are being fake in your concern. You see what I'm saying? That's like me if if I only came to you only went to talk to you about drama, but I never asked how you doing I see what you're and all saying. that. So I that's why that. that's right. also where he was just like, right. yo, like, all right, cool, you know, thanks for checking up on Paige. I appreciate y'all, but back off. Because it to me it looks fake. And they're like, It's not fake, it's not fake. Well, when have you ever talked to me other than this moment? You know what I'm saying? Also, I think um he has not ever been really open to talk to them. You know what I mean, and and if you don't feel comfortable approaching someone, you're not gonna. I've told you that before. If yeah. you don't, if you don't have a uh, welcoming personality, or even ignite a start a conversation with someone, no one's gonna come up to you and have a conversation with you. Yeah. And I feel like Clara has no problem talking to anybody. To be yeah. honest with you, yeah. she has no problem talking to anybody. Yeah. But if you don't feel comfortable t- coming to him, you know, then that's then probably why I come if to you him. Don't, they'll say, so if that's you right. don't feel comfortable, then, then why, don't, you, why are you still coming? Why are you, why are you trying both, to... Both yeah, areas yeah, yeah. work. Like, right. if you don't feel comfortable, right. don't talk to me. If you feel comfortable, right. talk to me uh, then right. rather than drama. I'm right. on my honeymoon. Right. I get something went down, yeah, yeah, but this right. is the honeymoon. You're right. We you're were right. talking about earlier about that some relationships get destroyed based off bad timing yeah you're right like you're right i'm on my honeymoon you're right. i told you guys what happened you're right let's i told you also all right i told you guys let's squash it let's enjoy a honeymoon yet you still found the need to come at me when i've told you this should be open and shut i have this thing going on pages involved i would pay like I said, I see Sierra's point i it's see so that point levels to this but though. at the same time you don't come to somebody and then on top of that Eric and Virginia are those type of people. I know everyone has those people in your life. You got all this stuff going on, but you're always late to the party, not knowing what's going on. Lord Twice Jesus. they fell, came Lord late. Jesus. The first time they made him repeat what happened because they came late. Then tonight at the dinner, they came late after he tries to apologize. It's like we all we all have those friends or family members like coming in late and like people are already like peaceful. The, the the drama has kind of dwindled, and you coming in because you came so late. You're still on this high, and, how about we, and that's what happened with Eric Virginia. And how about you read the environment? Because when they, when they walked in, it was like who called the collective. Was chilling, and people were drinking. And then the a, first Eric thing what Eric wants to do is oof. confront the brother. Yeah, and he should. And we got in a little uh, not a uh, conversation about this because, and that's what we need. I, I felt like Will was right when he he explained it to me. He was like, I wish Eric would have taken him away from the group and not in front of everybody. Like, but I felt like Eric was like, you didn't embarrass yourself on this, on the, on the van. I lost all patience with you. So I'm about to go off at the table and I don't care who hear it. And that's how Eric, and that's how Eric dealt with it. But was that the best way to deal with it? No, he should have t- t- taken, 
um, a, a Chris side. to the side and said, "Hey, are you calm? Are you cool now? Are we? Are are you? Are you okay?" And then proceeded to say, "Hey, next time you have a co- conflict with my wife, please talk to me first because you completely disrespected her." And bada bing, bada boom. If he felt like he needed to do that, and I think Virginia pumped his head up in the back in a, in a, in a hotel room because like yeah, cause my brother and my daddy, my brother and my daddy would have came to my defense. Da, 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 da. Don't, I don't think Chris cares about your brothers. <laughs> no, but Eric does. So yeah. Eric had to do what he had to do to show that he the man. Man, I have never someone talk to me disrespectfully, but at the same time, if you if I if I approach someone and they're upset and mad. And they told, they gave you the out, and you don't take the out, you face the consequence. You should be able to take the consequences. I remember working in retail. If a customer was mad, I never riled them up. I never, yeah. no. I was yeah. like, oh, you were not in a bad. We were talking about in a, in a mental state, in, a, in a, a physical, you know, mindset where if someone's mad, they're, they're in a certain mindset in their brain where, you can't you can't calm them down. You got to let them naturally calm down before you approach them. But, but when you all you're doing was just keep. But when he kept, but when he kept on the, so so you're right. And my conflict was that that wasn't when they were outside of the van. But when they got in the van, Chris kept escalating the situation, yes. and they were like, "Bro, chill out, chill out, chill out." He didn't. He didn't. Yes, never. He never right. came. He never came down. And they were all actually. Uh, Clara and um, what's his name? Clara and uh, Ryan were in the middle, and they were actually like they were like statues. They were trying to be as calm as we can be. And Eric, uh, and Eric and, and uh, Virginia, yeah. they lash it back, lash it back, and it's because Chris kept igniting, igniting. He he was like the bear that was about to tear up the whole uh the whole China set. Speaking of Ryan. Mm. Uh, bruh. Mm. So mm. they um after we all over the place, y'all. We sorry. Uh, at this point, <laughs> that's how the show is. If you think we're gonna go in order and be boring, nah, we good. <laughs> sorry, listen y'all. here, listen here. Listen so here. after everything was said and done, Ryan basically, in so few words, basically told uh Claire like, know your place and just you shouldn't have riled up Chris. Like you should have chose your words carefully. And that and I don't know it was made for TV, but there was a long awkward silence after that because she was like, "Did you just basically tell me to shut up?" You basically just said because Ryan Ryan was the only one. Vincent kind of stepped in, but Ryan was the only one. Like I'm just gonna sit here and watch. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say nothing. I'm gonna get I'm involved. Not, mm-hmm. Baby, he got a church image to uphill, uphold, honey. He is not Ryan, gonna get up in there. He is not, and he gonna make her get right. Because he, he has a appearance to uphold. I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. So I'm sorry, I'm bringing like, it to what it is, saying, y'all. Like, part of, so she, he, he kind of blamed it on uh, her. her. Yeah, he did. Which he, is not right. He did, he did. And, and, and in a way, I was like, okay, she did go over, step to uh <laughs> She did, though. She stepped to him. But when she saw he, he mm, then she backed out. Yeah, she kind of backed off a little bit. She, she said, I was just saying, and that's what she said. She said, it's not a, about fake, what she said, it's fake concern. <laughs> She's like, I just wanted to make sure that y'all are good, that y'all have a good marriage going forward. That's all I wanted. And bada bing, bada boom. But I, <sighs> I have to, I, I just have to say, there's a certain point in people's lives, even in relationships, where you, and I'm sorry we're repeating ourselves, where you just have to back off. There, he's going through something with his baby mama. Uh, now, ex, now baby mom, or well, future baby mom. But you know what, William? But I- you, there's a certain part where you have to realize, like we just met a few days five, ago, like four or five days ago. Like, you know can't, you, you can't, I mean. you yeah. can't approach people just like we check out our videos. Level of relationships, <laughs> uh, you, they are still technically strangers. So you come and at him like that. It doesn't sit well. Mm-hmm. A lot of people would not in real in the real, real world, world will not allow a stranger to come at them, yeah. not knowing all the details, and just true. be like, "Oh, you got to make sure you do all this." He's Very like, true. "What are you talking about? I'm trying my best for what I can do." First of all, they're at a honeymoon. How much can he do at this point? Which we have, we get, we we'll get to that. I'm not forgiving him, but there, he we're gonna get to where he's digged this hole. But at the same time, how much can he physically do on a honeymoon? You know what I'm saying? He can do a lot on the honeymoon. It's the honeymoon. Okay. Maybe, and they in Vegas, maybe you're so right. They in Vegas. And they got, Other than having they sex? Got, they got production money. Three, 15 times? They got production money. Okay. He could have flowers. He could have, he could have, sit on the bed looking like a, 
you know what? Ooh, I went there. Ooh, but, I don't know. It's just there's this has to be a certain level of respect where, hey, I don't know you. You know, I, 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 if they, I feel like if they would just came like, hey, Paige ain't feeling well. We're just checking in on her. Is she okay? But they basically attacked the brother. You said, hmm. I feel like they, attacked. I feel like Virginia attacked, not Claire. You, I feel like Virginia attacked. When you him. said you're not, you're not going, like, there's a certain, you're not point. going beyond and be above, and he's Which not. They're point right. Period. They're right. They're right. But that's not their place to say that. This is true. This is true. That's not their place this to say it. This is true. It's not his mom. He doesn't know you. He don't know them. He does right. not know you're right. you. You're, it, it, you're right, and I hate that you're right, because I, I, I wish with some, mm, blessed be the name, I wish that with some relationships that somebody would have said, hey, yo, hey, hey, uh, say, slow down. Like, so, yeah. hey, hey. You know, some somebody, you That's know. That's what Cassie Cal and them is for. But... They're on a honeymoon, and I, I, I told William that I felt like the reason why they did it at that time, because they felt like the next day they're going back home, and so they're not going to be in, in close proximity to one another. And so they felt like they had the urgency to make sure you, they told him how they felt, or try to ex- hear what he's going to do to take care of their friend. Yeah. And I think that's what the urgency was. P- timing was not good on their part, yeah. but I see the reasons it's why not, It's still they not did. their place, though. If, if, if this is the very first season, I could kind of forgive them. But this is the 12th season. You know Pastor Kel and the therapist and the other one's going to talk to them. You really think they're going to let Paige just Baby. not get talked and you don't think Chris is going to talk to Pastor Kel? Like, Pastor Kel going to be like, what you doing, bro? Like, you don't think a, th- a professional is going to come? I'm, they're, I'm not saying... And you also have to look at their, but their also, ages, too. But also, they chose... And, and I see you interrupt you. Yeah. But... Uh, the people from last season, uh, Woody and Amani, yeah. they're gonna do a a, a a a recap of this uh, of this season as well, and they kind of hinted at we know why they chose him. They we they know they know why they um, chose Chris. And uh, before I even watch what they what they're gonna say, I think the reason why they chose Chris is because Chris can give a very good interview. He's a businessman. So he can give a very good interview and show you this beautiful man that he can be. But is he literally that man on an everyday basis? Yeah. Is he really? Or is he just like blowing smoke up your butt? Yeah. Which we see that he is blowing smoke up his butt because on one hand he speaks as well. But on the other hand he talks about, oh, well, if I leave today, well, I can go back with my ex today. Who says that? He said that. Who says that? You just married this but shit. He, he, he's king of double talk because by the end of the episode, Paige is like eating up what he said because he said i think i'm more attracted to you now but you, you it's said called five manipulator ago. narcissistic That's a personality creating drama that don't exist first of all <laughs> talk about that later narc and manipulator <laughs> are they the same thing i don't know y'all tell me but, but yeah. I'm, I'm feeling that from him it's like you're a manipulator of, of the situation and it's almost like he's trying to sabotage her little by little and, and i've heard people say this <laughs> It's pages. <laughs> Page it. Page should decide to chuck the deuce because he's showing her his true colors yeah. of how he's gonna be like this all the time. You're never gonna be able to gauge what his true intentions are yeah. because he don't know his true intentions until he feels appeased and he feels well. Yeah. So it's just like Paige, you're getting, you seeing what you're gonna get, and you're choosing to stay. In a relationship that's not even the basis of the relationship is messy. Like it's 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 up to you. I'm not saying all marriages are perfect. I'm not saying all relationships are perfect. But in this situation, baby, your mental mind is gonna be ooh, blessed be the name. She's, that's what I said. She is a different person from that. Like I said last week, that she's a different person. Yeah. Uh, who said that? Clara said that she's a she's not the same person that we met the first the first episode. I, like I said, I can see where they. <laughs> Like I said, I can see where they're really concerned because they've got to know Paige and hang out with her. But at the same time, you don't know Chris. You can't. You can't. You can't do that to a woman or a man. I'm not gonna say, oh, you can't. No, even a woman. Like, and I know they're gonna come for him and say he's an angry black man. No, he was justified for defending himself. But at the same time, we all Chris is not our favorite person. <laughs> just be honest. Just be real. Yeah. But at the same time, you. you I see why they did it, but it still wasn't the perfect. It wasn't the best timing, yeah. and I feel like they should allow. They should have if they 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 did what they did for the 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 help or the to make sure Paige was okay. Yes. I understand that, but after they did that, that should have been a two minute conversation, and they should have walked away. Mm-hmm. 
and it shouldn't have escalated oh, to you, what it oh, did. You don't seem to be. You don't seem to be. You, you seem kind of mad. Let me back up. Yeah, I didn't mean to upset you. I just want to make sure Paige is okay. And that's where the conversation should have ended because Clara did say that. Yeah, and the conversation should have ended. Virginia should have walked then they into started, Eric. Then they started the name calling. Start everything. Start oh, getting personal. Drunkard, <laughs> you're a drunkard. <laughs> you don't, you don't, Eric. You don't. You don't know what you're talking about. We didn't see you, dude. You, <laughs> you were drunk, drunk, bro. You were drunk, drunk, man. drunk. You even had a, you haven't had a, like. Well, let's talk about that <laughs> because I feel like. He Do you want to rate before we move on? Or are we still on Chris Page? We're gonna probably talk about Chris Page, okay. but let's go ahead and rate. Chris Page is zero. For we me gave him zero, zero. zero, they, zero. They were zero, zero last week. They're zero, zero now. They stay together. I ain't gonna be shocked. There's not even a point. There's zero, zero, one percent. They're staying together. Negative. Sub zero as we If Paige says yes, I want to do. I know Chris is gonna be like, nah. nah look, I don't nah, know. Nah. I try to give you fifty thousand ways red to, to, to divorce me, <laughs> so I could. So I give you my ex, and you want to take it? Look, I'm just gonna have to embarrass you in front. So zero 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 zero. zero, zero, zero. zero. All right, Eric and Virginia. Um. So Eric, w- what's up with y'all? So, I know you. I, wait, wait, if you watch wait. this one day. What's up? So Eric, I feel like <laughs> is is appeasing. Virginia by drinking and drinking and drinking to get out their system because he feels like after this is all over with <laughs> they're gonna go home and she's gonna get right and that's not gonna happen I already know the she's 24 dog happen, she's 24 you said you said up for the okie doke I remember when I was a 24 year old you couldn't never mind but <laughs> what? Oh, you no, remember yeah. how we were 24 no. we weren't married yet we had a good time wait 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 were we just about to be married we're going, we were engaged but we weren't married yet we still was having fun we, uh, you, 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 no, you were good, husband. You weren't that no, bad. No, we good, but we, no, you, you, were you know. You were that bad. We weren't home every night. <laughs> That's why we weren't watching TV. We weren't watching Married at First Sight. I know that, but. <laughs> so, I'm just like, I, I, I just, they had that weird, um, um, dimly lit room, uh, conference solo where he was just like, I don't know if I can keep doing this. I don't know. Eric, you are a grown man. Bro. If you want to take one shot and say, I'm just going to watch you drink, that's all you have to do. Oh, try, why? Why are you trying to keep up with her? You are not her age. His liver can't, his kidneys can't he, handle that. He's, he's, dude, when he, when they had a guy's, the guys, they had a guy's time where the guys went, uh, it just learned craps. That was like five seconds. That was yeah. weird. And then they sat down and drank and he, and, and, Chris, but they're going, hey, what y'all think about uh, uh, how y'all going to intimacy for me? And then he couldn't even get his words out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't even know what he I said. Know. I was just watching this for yeah, yeah, yeah. that the camera, that they didn't cut, cut some of the scenes because I'm just like, yo, this guy is toasted. Oh, I'm good. Toasted. And, and Chris and Vincent look at each other like, dude, he is drunk drunk. So when <laughs> he drunk drunk, he drunk drunk. And Virginia, uh, mixing her drink, drops <laughs> drops her drink. It's like, mind you, they are on our honeymoon. So you and in Vegas, so that is forgiven. But for Eric to think when you get back to Atlanta that she's gonna cut her party life down, and baby, because he stood up for her and almost lost his life, <laughs> he gonna probably feel that she <laughs> owe her something. I mean, he she owe him something. Trust me. Uh, He'll be like, so I almost risked my life for you. I'm going to need for you to tow down your party and I'll need you to cut off your male friends, period. Because I stood up for you. I did what I was supposed to do as a first, husband. First of all. Oh, baby, he going to come. He going to come. I can't wait for next, next week. I cannot wait. I cannot wait, all, honey. He even admitted that when you're, no, she even admitted when you're gone, I'm going to be doing my thing. So if Eric thinks she's gonna be at home knitting a sweater, no, nah, for nah. <laughs> I, I think he's okay with her doing her thing, just as long as she's safe, and he has to know who she's with. I think that's gonna be another thing. He's gonna have to know who she's with when he's not there. That's gonna be. There's no. That's gonna be way. interesting. There is no. Way. I told you on the video chat, Facetime. He gonna be driving an airplane. Why you ask your? Why you ask your Facetime? Well, you answer messenger. I called you on Skype. I got Zoom. I did WhatsApp. You didn't answer none of the stuff. Uh, it is midnight. I am just leaving the club. <laughs> I I don't I don't get it. I don't see. I just don't see. It. I put someone put that hilarious meme. I think I t- retweeted it. 
with uh, they were like they had the bird box. Uh, oh, the, <laughs> and, and the, uh, the matchmakers matching these couples up because I just, I just don't see where they saw that they were compatible. Well, I, I think I, I, I see where they saw that they're compatible. Okay. I see, I see. He is the the structure, and she is the party, and and yin and yang. The yin, yin yang, yang don't always work, but that's, that's what they went for. Especially though. when there's an age gap. Sometimes that yin and yang. She's like, when I turn 30, I'll calm down, but... And she's <laughs> pro-life, and he is c- super conservative. Six years? Uh, He's like, in six years, I'll calm down, but right now, I'm good. That's going to be interesting. And, it, and she made a good point. I remember, you said, I, I remember you said, you know, when they have kids, you know, and she's like, you, so you, when, when we your kids have a baseball game or something, and you're, they're like, where's dad? Well, you're going to be flying an airplane all the time? Mm-hmm. Like, he was like, well, that's my lifestyle. She I mean, can't have it I want you, And then he goes, I want you to, I want you to, my, my career is my life. That's what he said. That's a sad life. thing to say. He said, "My career, and I want you to, I want you to add on to it." I'm who, sorry. That's a sad thing to say. Who says that? Unless she was a stu- okay. If this is when that works, if she's a stewardess, that's meaning a man that's a captain, right? No, I say Clara. That's and- when that works. <laughs> when you can say stuff like that yeah. because you're on the same wavelength. Like if I was a if if well, we kind of work that way too. Yeah. Kind of like because I'm yeah, a yeah. therapist, you're a counselor, so we kind of we on the same wavelength. Yeah. We have different time to times of working, yeah. different type of. But anywho, if you have a similar job type, it's okay to say that or yes. or a thing that's going to happen. Yes. But when your lifestyles are very different, how can you say comments like, "Well, my career is my life, and I just want you. I would just. I want. I just want a bonus. I want. I want to add you to it, bro. No, that's not how that works, man. I'm sorry. Oh no, I just. And that I'm sorry, that's a sad thing to say. Did I learned you? that I learned that a long time ago when I got into education. Your career cannot be your life. There's more to it. But they said that if you uh, if you pass away, your job uh, we'll find another person. <laughs> your job t- your, 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 yeah your your job posting will beat your obituary. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. There's many people right now. I know the second they said they were quitting, that job posting was up already. Your career cannot be your life, man. You gotta embrace what you got in front of you. And I know she's not your idea because she's a party girl. She don't care about, you know, what guy she hang out with. But at the same time, you, you made vows. Y'all did those beautiful That's vows. True. You got you to gotta step up to the I think the it's plate. a compromise. I think she can't party as much as she wants to. I think also that he's going to have to give her wiggle room to enjoy herself. If that's what she chooses to do, every relationship is different. You know, um, that might not be our relationship, but that's how they, that's how she pitches her life and that's how he pitches his life. So I hope they are able to compromise. What score are you staying with? You staying with a five? And and stop showing late to stuff. Stop. And stop showing drunk and late to stuff. That's very tacky. Please stop doing that. That's very tacky. Stop. I'm sorry. That's very tacky. That's not good conservative uh, walk path. I'm just saying. (laughs) We gave him five. At five last time, fifty fifty. I'm going down to a three. <gasps> Me too, husband. Ding ding. Three three. Cause that's. Hey, I don't. I don't. I know they have that little moment when they're in the hotel. No. When the, when the I mean, in the elevator. Thank you so much for protecting me. That that, that when you have those little moments yeah. of incitement, that that doesn't last. No. Like you can't love on. His wife still on, ain't did it. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's not. You no serendipity does no. not work. Like she you, said, she was lo- she was not loose, but she said she was promiscuous before the show, and you know that she ain't giving it up to him because she got it out of her system. I don't remember what she said. She said that? she said I was promiscuous. She said I was promiscuous. Ooh, if I if I'm wrong, clear it. Go ahead, wrong. Virginia. But I think what she said, she said I was a, I dated several guys. Oh. I had several. You know, she wasn't like a you know, but she was promiscuous. Can means a, a lot she of different things. She had. I ain't even one of those. You know me. I know you're not I thought she was one of those. But yeah, three and three. 30, so, three yeah, 30% three. chance that they'll Maybe. make it. Who else can we talk about? Oh, Claire and Ryan. We kind of touched on them too. They um they created some fake drama as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, oh, I love everybody. Oh, I never said the word I love you. Okay, whatever. Like, that, yeah. that is small potatoes. Like, And I think Clara, I think I'm glad that he's never said that because Clara, Clara can um pace her love. Yes. You don't rush into love as she usually has done. So this gives her opportunity to pace her liking for him, her love for him, which is a very healthy, healthy thing to do yeah. um, versus what she usually does. And she rushes to, yeah. she says, I, I'm the usual one that likes the person more than that. And she already told me, he's just my perfect Ryan. Oh, Girl, yeah. you about to find out that he is not perfect. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. He ain't Captain, uh, Captain Man. No, no, no. Yeah. Captain America. Mixed America. No, he ain't. I hope the therapist touched on that because that's kind of 
That's kind of that kind of threw me too. I've what? I've heard of like, oh, I can't be by myself. I always gotta be with somebody. Uh, uh, just I just never heard of our oh, rush into love. I've heard movies and stuff like that, but I've never really heard that before. That people can instantaneously fall in love. Like it's not about an instant instantaneous love. It's about her um, becoming consumed by by the person, yeah, and and denying what she really needs and what she really wants. Oh, I hope that's not the case. And, and I and I think that's what she means by I quickly fall in love. Is that a lot of people that happens to a lot of people? I think when we first started dating, I think you were like that towards me, yeah. and I had to thank you, God, for giving me a reflection of like, yo, you realize you do X, Y, and Z. <laughs> You realize we actually that's uh, on a video somewhere. Uh, we'll find it somewhere. But that's one thing that we, I recognize, and I thank God for you giving me that wisdom to say, "Yo, let's let's. I, I like you. I enjoy spending time with you, but let's slow down a little bit because I need to be able to enjoy you as much as you enjoy being around me and, and, yes. and being my being my boyfriend yes. at the time. And and so that really help i think you slow down this also helped happen with a couple from last season and we all did not like her because she was not friendly with the camera uh who was it it's not amani and woody's friends oh what's her name oh uh karen and miles karen and miles and and karen did the same thing she's like i don't want you to give me all the fluff all the wonderfulness i want to know who you really are because when we leave this show i need to know that i can trust who you really are. And that's why she was like standoffish and not so lovey dovey because she wanted to see what he doesn't like, what 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 makes him tick. Yeah. Not all the presidential, good looking, good, great things that he is. I see that already. I appreciate that. But I also appreciate the stuff that I'm not gonna like that I need to learn how to live with to be with someone and yes. be with you and fall in love with you. Because when you fall in some with love with someone, you have to embrace their flaws. Gotcha. The, all the flaws are not going to be changed. All the flaws are not going to develop. Some flaws are just going to be the flaws for the rest of their life. And you got to be able to love them, love them through all of that. Yeah. And so she wanted to see that. And, I, and, and they're looking so wonderful now. But I, don't I, think like, Ryan, I don't think Ryan wants to see that, though. I oh, baby, Ryan, no. Ryan, I mean, don't, don't, don't care. Ryan is sitting there. He don't care. He's a hard person to read. I think he's just... No, he's he sitting ain't hard there. To read. He ain't hard person to read. I think he's just calculating everything. He's just looking at her like, "Oh, you, you like drama. Mm, mm-hmm. I don't like that. Ooh, you don't want to take your baby to church." Who does that sound like? Church Ooh. people. <laughs> they'll sit there and, and judge you with their eyes. They won't say nothing, but they'll judge you with your eyes. Whole time they calculate everything they might like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't like that. That's not how Christians should be. Nope. 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 So uh, we had gave him an eight and an eight, baby. I was kind of scared now. Doop, 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 doop. Uh, I, doop. Guys, don't 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 leave us. We just it just it, these couples are starting to show, show their cracks, cracks yeah. and it's only their honeymoon. I remember last season, I had no idea if, until they started getting home. So for them to be in the honeymoon showing these cracks, it's not looking good. <laughs> but th- th- there's still hope. There's still hope. We still got a lot of episodes, but unfortunately, I have to give. I had to give him a five. Oh, you're going low with I'm me. going to 50 50. I'm going to a six. A six, okay. Because I just don't know. I don't know. It doesn't look good. Yeah. And I hope Pastor Cal yeah. talks to Ryan because Pastor Cal is a pastor. And yeah. I hope he really. Because um, he's not humanized, opening up. He's not opening up like hum- he should. Humanize and, sh- and teach him compassion and empathy. For other people, because that's what I think he's lacking. He's so calculated that he expects boom, 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 boom. And if you're not boom, 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 nope, 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 nope. And that's not life. And if for some, for you to say, and I wonder if his I love you means that you do everything I say. Mm. And that makes me fall in love with it's you. Not good. And if that's the case, bro, you never going to say that. And you never going to find out what true love. True love is the Jesus that you serve. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, next. 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 Um, <laughs> this is uh, long. So we're going to say the, uh, the, 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 I don't know. We want to do. Let's, we, let's do Haley and Jacob. All right. Haley and Jacob. Yeah. First of all, they done did it. <laughs> they done did it. They done did it. And she ain't lying. No, the way and she, she did not. Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, yeah, it was not a beautiful story. You know, they're like, ah, we got it here. We ah, ah she didn't like ah. it. No, nah, she's like, we got drunk and we say, hey, whatever. Yeah. She hated it. She and that sucks because he's like, what changed? It was like the opposite. What changed? You know how it, what changed? It was the thing like a man where it was like, 
uh, Steve Harvey said that you give the cow too early. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's kind of like uh, she's got a, a devil. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I got what I needed. Uh, we done, all right? Like, oh, we still married? Like, we still got to do this thing? Uh... I can't wait to next episode for them. Because <laughs> I can not wait. They're, they're were like this, and now they're kind of like. <laughs> And then she didn't tell him that they had a, a gathering at the at the at the bottom. And so it's a girls' night. And it's a girls' night. He gets that the husband's night. That is so messed up. He, he didn't take. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder. I can only imagine if Chris was down there. So Chris is down there. <laughs> Chris, Chris, the one that started drawing at the table. Chris. He's down there, but you, you didn't let me be the other. I think oh. Haley is just at this point where she's like, okay, it's been a week. Uh, like you ain't got nothing else to do, bro. Like you ain't got uh, a, a a golf tournament, uh, you ain't got a Star Wars conviction, uh, convention. convention. Oh, like God. you just you just hear all, all the time, time when I wake up twenty four seven. She's yeah. she's done. She's missing the pen. She's done. She's done. She's done. She's okay. Done. She needs her space. She's done. Okay. And, and he he and, he, and I, I, you know what? He's too serious. He, wait, Jacob. Wait, Jacob was is all all knowing, all know by himself. Okay, but I was really taken back that he actually caught on and actually just voiced how he felt. A lot of men don't do oh, that, yeah. especially a man that's all about himself. They never say. I notice that you're 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 distancing yourself. You're not you're not being present. Like it's something you're putting a wall up. But I don't understand. I was. I commend him for actually saying something yes. and confronting her about it before they went back home. Because when they go back home, she's going to be in and out of the house not really giving a care. And he's like, no, 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 no. I need you to come back and understand that this is not okay. Like, yeah. we have what we have going on. We need to make sure that we're solid. And I, I commend him for that. And I think that's the older age in him yes. is that he wants that confirmation that she's in it for the long haul. Yeah. And baby, she is not. I can see Haley like, I'm going to stay married. She's going to be. But... Yeah, she uh, we're gonna FaceTime marriage, <laughs> and I don't see what I I see. That sucks. So this that sucks. sucks for that him. Sucks. That sucks for him. That really I, does. I, do you feel like she maybe wants him to be more aggressive? No. Okay. That'll turn her off because she's I and she's because she's kind of like like he's no sitting I mean. now even though he's approaching her correctly, he's still kind of like hey, so what's like he's not even looking in her eye like what uh I don't well if you don't tell me. What's going on? I'm like, bro, who are, you, who are you looking at? Because he feels uncomfortable. She does. She's not open. If but she's was, looking at him because she is bold. Baby, she does not. She's Baby, like, she's like, I don't know why I'm frustrated. I'm just frustrated, and she's looking right at him. And right. He's looking down like this. I, well, it, well, I think the camera. We follow these play with the camera. Oh, I think okay. I think he's actually looking at her. I don't think he was actually looking at the floor the whole time. But I think, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he knows, and well, I mean, the previous they showed that he was like, "Yo, we keep this going on. It's it's coming to destruction." So. I think I was kind of right in this one because I've been telling them they have a three. I've been saying three, and I'm gonna stick with my three. There's a th- I, there's still some of a chance. Like I feel like if once he talks to the therapist and pass the cow and stuff like that, maybe they could you know help her see. But that. I hope that she tells the sex therapist that she wasn't pleased. I hope she actually says that so they can figure out how to help that's that. That's the thing. I never because that's the only thing that changed from yeah. and, and and the fact that she gave it up. Now if women. Okay, side note. Come in. Women. When you, okay, of course, premarital sex, don't do it. Please just stay strong. Hold on. If you can. But if you don't partake, please don't do it drunk. I don't care if you are on married at first sight. I don't care if, if it's a, it's a do not because the value of the sexual act is really worth nothing. And I feel like she was drunk too. Yes. Don't, don't, no, no, like just been like, let's you just cuddle and fall asleep. You probably don't even remember all the details of it. She, she don't. She just know she wasn't. She wasn't pleased. Yeah. I know that. But was you really she in probably, your right mind? She, were you she, all, she were you all like, I just had a few drinks. <laughs> no, I'm drunk. You was she drunk. Probably, she probably got up, saw that naked body, like, oh crap. What did I do? What did I do? What did I just do? Oh, he, probably, he probably, he probably got, he probably got tan lines. <laughs> he probably, you can see the. The Man, silhouette of where his underwear sucks. is at. That sucks. But I, I, oh god, that's that the thing sucks. with sex, yo. Like, and I, I, I never understood that. I guess I never understood it where they're like, well, the sex is trash, and that means we can't be together. Mind you, you can do whatever you want. If you feel like the sex is trash and you don't want to be with somebody, but at the same time, that should bring some kind of pleasure. Like, hey, I got some stuff I can teach you, and that's where. But people don't want to work. They don't want to work. No. They don't 
no you don't want to work if you're not if there's nothing else there to overly attract you like for brianna and um was named Brown and Vincent, if that would have encountered Connor would have been bad. They have so many other things yeah. that attracts them to one another yeah. where that's not the main thing. Yeah. So when everything else is crap and then you try to make sex, why why do people You said make sex? What not make sex? No, no, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is you try to make sex sex the defining factor gotcha. of if I'm gonna stick it out or not. And dumb dumb not dumb dumb, Lord forgive me. Chris and Paige did the same thing. Chris did the same thing with Paige. Well, I just thought I reached out and just getting did that. You know, no, no. If you're not, you just not. And sex not gonna change that. Yeah. Cause no, yeah, no. Yeah. The thing thing is gonna get old and crinkly over time, and you're gonna be out of yeah, yeah. out of sync. Yeah. And then what well, if your pop pop not working? So then pop pop not working. Is that person gonna really be there for you for the rest of your life? You could be dust too. All right, so straight dust. <laughs> so I said three. What did you say? Um, I'm changing. This. I'm lowering it to a three. So this don't look good. This don't look good. This don't look good. Anyway. All right. So, last, last but not couple. least, last couple, uh, Brianna and Vincent. Yeah. Now I know what they're doing, but at the same time, it, it, it's it's a legitimate argument. When you're very, Vince is a very patient man. He, he, he is he, very patient. He, he like I I listen to you. I'm gonna yeah. do what you gotta do. Especially you're on a honeymoon. I'm not trying to upset you. I'm trying to have a good time. Trying but then when me. you come at him like a boss, which Vince says, then that's where the issue is gonna come in. William, you said it's not a boss. No my friend it's a controlling spirit she's a not a, just a boss she's controlling that's the problem mm-hmm. a boss also knows how to be a leader oh, and yeah, a servant right. yeah right. and she is a controlling person yeah. she wants how are you making this man use your your facial wash what if he would have broke out the little facial thing what if he would have broke out then you would have been looking like stupid and dumb dumb because he didn't broke out because you told it me. It didn't look like he had a little irritation on He did. Face. His face was red. I'm like, bro, bro, please don't break out trying to please this And woman. it's like small things like, get this, grab that. This is, it's like, alright, like, okay, cool, but I'm like, uh, it's right there. You gotta grab no, it. No, she goes, pick that off the, pick that, pick it off the floor. Like, she goes, pick it off the floor. I'm about to, like, and, go, calm down. Like, I'm not gonna leave I'm not gonna use that top no more, but you can pick it off the floor. And he didn't pick it up immediately. She's like, you can pick it up and throw it away. I'm like, dog. I'm a grown man. As a man, I got business. I got a business sis. Woman, guess what? Business man. I'm a business, business man. man. No. No, I'm sorry. Jay Z. No, no, no. <laughs> no it's We're just not. We're just not. We're just not going to do that. And I, I, I feel for Vincent. But Vincent, put your foot down. Put her in her place. Lord, forgive me for saying it that way. But Vincent, hold your ground. Be respectful, yeah? yeah? yeah. Hold your ground. Be respectful because she needs to learn that she can't control everything. Yes. And if that's her being herself, then she needs to go find another man who wants to be controlled. Yes. Period. And this is the fact that she said she was annoyed because he said that? Like... No. First, she, and I knew she was doing it on purpose because she's like, did I annoy you today? <laughs> I can't stand that passive aggressive. That's and, so passive. Because we knew what she was going. I knew. Just I was say like, you're you annoyed going. by me. Don't do it. Dude. I annoy you. And he was like, uh, say what's up. Say he was like, like uh. We gonna we gonna let that conversation we're gonna go. We're gonna holler in a second. Yeah, we gonna let that conversation go. And then she went to sleep all frustrated. It's like, girl, you on this last man? This man, is, you on his last nerve? And y'all had a wonderful night. See, that's what I told you about yesterday, last time. Yeah. All that beautiful, uh, oozy, oozy, oozy. Now y'all seeing who y'all truly is. Y'all like, eh, eh, I feel eh. like I feel like these are small cracks. Yeah, when they speak to the, the professionals, I feel like they're gonna handle it. And I, and I hope she stops being controlling and allows him to be who he is. Yes, certain things you adapt to, you learn, you compromise with in a relationship. But I hope she's willing to compromise her some of her things and not all of who he is. Right. You know what I mean? Because that's not you're making him change who he is. Like, don't do that. Yeah. No, don't do that. Compromise. Do that. So we gave them both a nine last time. And what are we leading to now? What you leading to? I'm gonna stick to nine. I feel like it's very small. I don't feel like this is going to upset i don't i don't feel like this lessens their chance of staying together i don't think it lessens it but i'm gonna drop down to a seven okay wow i'm gonna drop down to a seven wow um, i was trying to keep hope i'm I'm hoping but i'm gonna drop down to a seven to hope. because she she is showing her immaturity yeah. in, in the fact that if the dude says don't don't what he said don't uh rush me and she got mad because he said that it's like well you were rushing you just met this dude like well looking at her and her understanding about her grandma how she handled me page that's an extreme hand- situation how she, no but i'm I'm saying how, how i'm seeing how she's interacting with other people i feel like eventually she will listen and make adjustments 
I feel right. that's why I'm sticking to the nine. You're right. If I didn't know her well enough, I didn't see her interaction with people outside of Vincent. Mm-hmm. Um, then I would probably would have went down. But yeah. since I saw how she's interacting, she's taking on pages, she's taking on everybody. She's gonna be like, "Look, this is a small thing. If you see me acting controlling, just let me know, and I will work on it." That's the part of relationships, people, marriages that people forget. You got to work on it. If something's annoying you, something's bothering you, say something so that the person can work on it. But if you're just going to sit there and go talk to your boys about it and never talk to the person who's causing you the issue, True. you're going to always have that problem. True. And that's where divorces happen. That's where all the drama True. starts happening. But I feel like, on the other hand, I hope that she is not so... Because she's an engineer brain. Yeah. I hope she's not so stuck in her way of doing things I don't think so. that she's not going to be able to be flexible. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't we think shall so. see. We shall see. We shall see. So one last time, check out the recap. <laughs> you like the purple and orange? I love it. It's cool. So Keep it a little TV like. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for sticking that. We said this one was gonna be that long. Look at and that. look at the time. Look at okay. The time. Let's get up okay, here. okay. Let's get okay. up okay. out of it's here. Co- it's probably because we haven't had a conversation with other people other than ourselves in this house so. for the past couple of days. <laughs> so we had a lot why. to say. You are you are you are extended family right now. <laughs> Welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. <laughs> But seriously, guys, if you are in Texas, again, like we said at the beginning, let us know if you need anything in the comments, if you have anything about Mary at first sight. As always, keep liking, keep subscribing, keep comment. Thank you guys so much. Oh, I know it's small to some people compared to the channel, but y'all helped us get to over 200 views on our last recap. So thank you guys so much. That is a small victory for a very new <laughs> YouTube channel. So we thank you. We're going to celebrate every milestone. Every milestone we with y'all because that. y'all support us. Come up through. So please let us know this. If you got, I know we still got a long way this season. If you got stuff to say about the show, if you got another show you want us to recap, not now, but maybe later, we'll recap and let us know. So it's a lot of new shows coming up. A lot of good relationship the, shows. It's a lot, a lot of new shows coming up in the, in the summer. Yeah. So let us know if you guys want us to recap um, yeah. a show. We probably will recap. We want to keep else. it kind of relationship based, but if there's yeah. nothing else, just let us know. We'll we'll take we'll take a look at previous seasons. We might we might surprise them with a, this is us. We just Ooh, might because I love us. this is us. She might have oh, she might have shout-out. she might have to be I might this have to be us, her, uh, listening board on that one. I, I like the show, but yeah, you know. <laughs> but we'll see we'll see. Thank you guys again, and until next time, what they need to do. Have a pleasant love. Yes. Bye, y'all.